How do you pronounce your last name? Sakshin, like it's a sack and a shin. Okay, do people have problems with that all the time? Yes. Okay. So you used to getting it butchered? Yep, very much. So what do you, what do you have a nickname? Um, I'm just called C, I think because of soccer, so that's what people call me. Okay, now you're soccer and swimming? Yes. How did you get involved in those two sports? I started both when I was little. Um, I started swimming lessons when I was, um, I think when I was pretty little. And that's how I started. And then the soccer, I started with a little kindergarten thing that everyone does. And, and then I carried it on all 12 years. <laughs> now your dad's a football coach. I say, if you could play a sport, you'd like to play football? Yes, definitely. What's it like having a dad who's a football coach and you're in soccer, which aren't always compatible? Um, the first two years was interesting. He didn't know anything about soccer. Um, I always thought it was kind of like football, you know. Um, he was comparing the two. And then he finally started to realize what it was. And he always gives me pep talks, which is good too. <laughs> so. Now, as far as swimming, a lot of times you can swim meets, he's got football uh, games. How yeah. is, he able to, is he able to manage that to, to get to see you? Yes, he is definitely with my big meets. Um, he knows when they are, and he manages manages it. Usually, practice gets out, and he quickly runs over to the to the meet. Or if they're away, though, he usually doesn't get to them. So. How does having a uh, dad as a football coach help you as an athlete? A lot of times, we talk to student athletes whose parents are teachers or coaches, and that has definitely an impact on them. How's that impacted you? Um, I've grown up like knowing what it's like to be in like a high school sport. I feel like because he explains everything to me. I've been water girl on the side, so like I've seen everything and he just has taught me what like hard work is and he like shows it through like the football team and everything and so I feel like I've, I came prepared to high school to what the sports would be like. So what do you like watching a football game? Do you like watching the Packers and can you yes. sit down and can you <laughs> argue with the guys back and forth about the game too? Yeah, I'm definitely a football coach's daughter. Like that's what I, I love football games, like I'm, I've went to every single one, I'm there screaming or like freaking out about a play and yeah. <laughs> Did you ever want to be a cheerleader or were you more, you're an athlete that you want to compete in the Yes, sports? I'm more of a competing person or cheering in the bleachers with my friends. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have an inspirational teammate in any sport? Who would that be and why? Yes, um, Kate Fallon for swimming. Um, when we have really hard like workouts, she always makes me laugh, and it helps get through it, and like makes you think of in the long run what what this is all worth. So, what's a typical day like for a swimmer? I don't think people realize how much work you have. Um, I usually get up at like five thirty, go to swim practice, swim until like seven, and then um, go through school, then have practice after school for about two hours, and then repeats itself, including dry land too, and then we have meets and everything, so. Now to, to culminate with the state swim meet, how cool is that? Is that something you really shoot for from day one? Yes, I've been, um, that's always been my goal and is to keep improving. Um, I have looked forward to the state meet ever since I was little. I've, I've been looking forward to it. Um, so this will, I'm super excited, <laughs> get kind of nervous, but. Now, how long has Lola had a swimming program? Four years, actually, so this is the fourth year. So you came in as a freshman. Yes. Got this, what, what was it like to be part of a new program and one that's growing? Um, it, was, it was a really good learning experience. Like, learning how things grow and overall the sport and being part of it has really, like, helped. And I think that I've learned a lot from it. Uh, you said you're, you like ice cream. Do you have a favorite ice cream? Yeah, I love all Cold Stone ice cream, actually. <laughs> oh, so you have a card for there and continually... Uh... Yeah. No, I probably should, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, and, uh, I think you participate in a lot of different activities. Do you have a favorite volunteer activity or favorite project uh, of yours? Um, I really like the Big Buddy program that our school does because we get to go to the elementary school and eat lunch with kids and go for recess with them. And I just feel like we really get to help them out and it's nice. Do you see the kids like out in the community and what kind of reaction is there if they go, oh, oh my gosh, this is my classroom. Do you get yeah. that? Oh yeah, they always remember you. Hey, you were in my classroom this year. I, you're coming tomorrow, aren't you? And they get really excited. It's really cute. Is that, now, when you were in school, was there a big buddy? Do you remember somebody from when you were that age? Yes, I do. And, and so is that kind of made you want to be one too? Yeah, that was a big factor. 
Now, uh, do you have uh, plans for next year? What do you want to do? Um, I'd like to go to college and swim and study pre-med. And what, uh, is there a particular school right now that you're looking at or where can um, you see yourself? I can see myself, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of trying to keep my options open right now. Um, I'm trying to, I've been in contact with people and I'm just trying to slowly get into it now once swim season's done. They said you want to be a neontologist? Yes. What is that exactly? It's a baby doctor. Ah, okay. <laughs> so in medicine, is there somebody in your family that's had an influence on you to be a doctor? Um, I think, like, I have a younger brother, so I think, like, and he's, like, six years younger than me, so I got to see when he was a little baby and stuff, and I think I just started liking babies, and so that was the main thing. <laughs> okay. Um, when you look back at your time here at Lodi, what's going to stand out for you the most? I think, like, the support that everyone has had, like, the community and everything, with being, like, a first-year swim team and, like, going through everything and also um, soccer, just everything the community really supports, and I think that's a great thing about having, especially when you're in a small community. You think being here in Lodi, close to Madison, close to bigger city, but small community, you have an advantage that, that, that uh, maybe some people don't that live in Madison? I think yes, definitely, because it's a friendlier atmosphere because you know everyone pretty much, so. <laughs> and everyone knows you here too, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Sierra, congratulations, and I hope we have a great rest of your senior year. Thank you.